I just got back from a trip to Toronto. <laughs> And when I was in Toronto, I was there sightseeing with my friend and every time I was going to take a photo I found myself reaching into my bag and grabbing my 85mm lens. I decided to make a video about it because it's my favorite lens. Okay, so first I'll say the things that I don't really like about it. There's not many, so I'll just get that out of the way. One is that there is no in-body, in-body, in-camera stabilization, in... There's no built-in stabilization, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Which means that you need a camera that has built-in stabilization or else you might end up with these like micro jitters. And basically when you have micro jitters, it's unusable and it's not fixable. You can't just warp stabilize it, those jitters are there for good and so that kind of sucks and ruins your footage. However, if you have built-in stabilization in your camera, then you're fine. It will sort it out for you. Okay, well the second thing isn't really a uh, negative, it's just that if you're looking to buy your first lens then I don't think that the 85 is good for you because it's not very versatile. So I'm looking around my house for a place to do some detailed shots and I think that this is a cool area. I like the wood look and yeah, maybe I could just like put it here and get some macro shots of it and maybe just some slider shots. Or I don't know, maybe like next to the colorful candles, I don't know, I'm gonna see what I end up with. So yeah, I'll switch to some detailed shots and let you see if they worked out or not. So in the end I actually just liked the detailed shots of uh, the lens on my desk. I didn't like the wood look at all, so we're back in my room, so welcome back to my, my bedroom. The reasons why I love this lens are because, well I'll just say them, manual focusing is so easy to do, it's so sharp, and it has a low aperture so it's great at night time. Let me explain all three of them in depth. So the manual focus, well for me I often am filming with friends of mine that are interested in photography and videography but don't necessarily know anything about it. I kind of do this thing where I'll ask a friend to help me shoot this video and then they get to learn how to use the camera and in return I get to use the footage that they help me shot for whatever project I am currently working on. Whew, that was a mouthful. Beginners <laughs> can use it, it's so easy and if you use the peaking levels then you know exactly what's in focus and it's really smooth to just rack that focus and get some good ones. I'm going to show you an example with something and I'll compare it to uh, say one of my other lenses like the Sigma Sigma 30 which was my first love but um yeah I've moved on now. I feel like I'm going to end up that person like on my strange addictions like I'll be in love with my lens. <sighs> no you're the best. No you, you're the best. I need a life. Here's an example of me racking focus and in the bottom right you can see behind the scenes of how smooth it is. The second thing is that it's good in low light. Aperture opens up to a 1.8 so it lets a lot of light in and it's really good in low light situations. I can give you some examples. I used it in my challenge video that I made a few weeks ago. Yeah, I really love those shots. So most importantly, the image quality is amazing. I find it very sharp. I always love the results from this camera. Oh, it's so nice. Like, it just doesn't compare it to my other lenses. I really absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's an 85mm, which does give that effect of bringing the background closer to you when you're taking photos. You can see in these two examples, one shot with an iPhone and then one shot with my 85mm. That waterfall just is massive behind you and I love that for photography and videography. Having that background look so dramatic makes it, yeah, just makes travel videos look awesome. Those are the reasons why I love this lens and if you have a lens that you're absolutely in love with then please let me know because who knows, maybe it'll be my next lens that I fall in love with. And um, yeah, I would just love to know what, what you're shooting with and what inspires you to go out and what 
motivates you to get those shots because you know they're gonna be amazing so let me know and uh, until then I will be making another video soon so yeah like subscribe and whatever else and I will see you in the next one oh wait but also if you want to see some of my photography then head to my Instagram um, I just came back from Toronto like I said before and I took some great shots I'm really proud of them I think it's my best work that I've done and yes, also I know I'm in a lot of my shots because my account is called Escape with Emily. However, I did like plan those shots and get my friends to take them of me. And little pro tip, I don't know if I mentioned this before because I've been rambling for hours, I feel like. But <laughs> if you really want to get a good shot of you, you could always take it of your friend and then afterwards get them to take it of you. And this way they know exactly what you want, what angle, you've already done the settings, and then you could boom, like just bang out some great shots for your Instagram or your thumbnails or whatever you need those photos for. And so that's it for today. Actually, goodbye now. Bye. <laughs>